we're going to start this hour off with a chat as we continue celebrating Oz Music Month. And what better way than with a local band? I've got one member of Kim's Laundry and she joins me this afternoon. It is Liv Ritchie. Hello, Liv. Hey, how's it going? Oh, I'm doing really well. Uh, is it warm where you are today? Um, yeah, a bit, a bit warm, but there's that wind, so it's not too bad. So it's just cooling down a bit now, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> now tell me, you're, there's there's two of you in the, in the band. Where did that, the name Kim's Laundry come from? I love it. Um, yeah, so my mum, Kim, Makes um, sense. when we were lo- living in Bombardary, um, yeah, we actually had a laundry downstairs, and that's where we like where we jam and practice and stuff. Um, so, yeah, we just called it Kim's Laundry because it's my mum's laundry, and yeah. And that's where you practice. It works. Yeah, pretty much. Now, who's your uh, partner in crime? Um, so her name is Hannah mm-hmm. Brooks, and mm-hmm. she plays guitar and sings, and I'm the drummer. So cool. Yeah. Hey, where where did you guys meet? Well, we went to school together. Right. Um, Hannah's one year older, but um, I was in year, se- in year seven at the time. That was a couple of years ago now. Um, and, yeah. Um, so sorry. what what was it about uh, – was it was it music that ultimately brought you together to, to form this band or was it just the fact that you had, you know, a really good friendship? Um, well, we were, we were actually in another band together. Oh, right. Um, during school time. And then that – just went, um, everyone went their separate ways, mm-hmm. so we decided to start something new. And, yeah, Kim's Laundry came about. And uh, what what type of music do you play in Kim's Laundry? Um, it's kind of rock alternative. Mm-hmm. It's very, um, we, we, we're really inspired by the 80s and 90s, like female rock. Right. Um, that kind of genre. Yeah. But also, like, lots of the new sounds of today, like, um, for example, Powderfinger at the moment. We're really... Um, I don't know, we're really playing a lot of stuff that sounds like them. So, and yeah. is it original music you're playing or is it covers or is it a bit of both? Um, well, every gig we do, we it's a full set of originals right. with one cover. Wow. So we learn a few covers and just play which one we feel like on the t- at the time. So. Now, uh, originals. Liv, I, I've got a quote here from that, the media release that was sent to me that I must admit put a big uh, smile on my face. Uh, it says, uh, pulled on their big girl undies, unquote. Yeah. Is that literal? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Um, so that's what we pretty much did for fairgrounds. Um, as, as it says, we put on our big undies and we emailed the big people at fairgrounds. Right. And um, after a month, waiting we got a reply and they put us on first act to open the main like the main stage so we were super like stoked for that that is pretty awesome because i believe there's going to be some other uh, pretty major bands there at the festival yeah definitely we look wow. up to lots of those bands mm. we're playing um for example like the boys we've played with them up in wollongong um hannah's really into hatchy and we both love the clues so a lot of female, like other female artists, so it's pretty cool. Are you, are you a little bit nervous at all? Um, no, I'm, I think we're more excited because mm. we did play um, the All Ages, Yours and Ours a couple months ago, so I don't know. We're, we're, we're just keen. We're not so much scared. We're just keen to get at it and give it our best shot, really. And put now on the map. Yeah, pretty much, hey. <laughs> hey, Liv, um, just finally, we're, we're about to play one of your songs uh, called Deserve It. Can you tell me a little bit about the song? Yeah, so um, it was like, it was about, I think it was one of our second or third songs we wrote together, and um, it's pretty much about um, people deserving things when they when they shouldn't kind of thing. Mm-hmm. More time and place um, when people get something, like receive something or um, gain something. But, yeah, um, it's a it's a bit like take it yourself and how you see it. So it Sounds like a really positive song, actually. Well, yeah. Liv, it's been an absolute delight to uh, chat with you today and, look, best of luck with the festival. 
Thank you. Absolute pleasure. And uh, if you're keen to hear the band play, you'll find them opening the Fairgrounds Festival on the 6th of December at the Berry Showground. But now on our Oz Music Month special, here is Deserve It from Kim's Laundry. From uh, the band Kim's Laundry, which uh, you'll find in Bombardieri, that was the song Deserve It. And uh, we're wishing them the very best of luck at the uh, Fairgrounds Festival. What an honour to be able to play with all those other uh, bands that we all know and uh, that we all love. So uh, we'll definitely have to uh, follow their little journey because I think we're going to hear some great things from them. Triple UFM, broadcasting in Kiama on 92.3 FM. This is Tuesday Drive with Stephen on Triple U FM, Shoalhaven's Community Radio.